talked about the incredible job that the offensive line did today. Edwin Baker, 147 yards rushing and a touchdown, complimented by Le'Veon Bell, who ran for 78 yards himself and a touchdown himself. Vic also caught up with one of those big guys up front, Joel Foreman. All right, thanks, Tom. Here with Joel Foreman, the senior center for this Michigan State football team. You guys absolutely dominated in that run game today. Just talk about how much fun that was. I mean, it, it was it was something that was awesome. You know, we uh, we came out here today really wanting to run the ball, and you know, we had a slow start, but uh, you know, we kept on persevering through all the uh, you know adversity, and you know, they did a great job. They played hard, but uh, you know, in the end, we slowly wore them down, and uh, you know, it was a it was an amazing thing to be out there and running the ball in front of all those people and hearing the green go green go white. So. <laughs> All right, I'm this close to you. I have to ask you, have you had a chance to take care of that nose yet or take a look at it at least? <laughs> I'm getting there, you know. <laughs> this thing's still fresh, so. <laughs> what did you do? Did you do it at the game today, or was it a, a re-injury? Yeah, well, it's about 40 minutes old here, so. <laughs> was it a good block? Oh, yeah, you know, we were hitting out there, you know, so. <laughs> hey, speaking of the hitting, I was talking with Kurt. Five consecutive scoring drives today at one point in time. You seem to take the game over at that point. Is that something you guys knew you could do? Yeah, you know, it's a testament to uh, how we went out there and approach the game today. Uh, like I said, we started off slow, and so we, you know, we came out there and, and wanted to uh, continue running the ball, and, you know, we went out there and we did that, and it's a, you know, it was it was a great thing. It was something that was a big turning point in the game. Our defense did a great job of getting some turnovers, you know, that helped boost our uh, momentum, and it just carried over. Three straight years winning part of the first group of Spartans to beat Michigan three straight years since 1967. I think it was 43 years, something of that nature. Can you put that into words? I think the state just got a little bit greener. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a Michigan boy at that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this something you've always dreamed about? Absolutely. I know. I told my dad when I was uh, eight years old, I said, you know, someday I'm going to play in that game. And I don't know if he really believed me at the time or not, but, uh, you know, it's been a, it's it's great to be able to play in a game like this and come out here and, and uh, play against a, te a great team like that and, you know, have uh, two tw top 25 teams play. And, uh, you know, it's a dream come true, and it's, you know, we uh, – uh, you know, we just came out here and did what we had to do. All right, one last question, real quick. Talk about the team confidence now. You're six and zero, oh, and a lot of people in the media, a lot of people, including fans, like to look down the road and say, "Wow, this Michigan State team could really go on a run." What is the ultimate goal right now? What do you think you guys can do? Be Illinois. One and zero. That's all we want to do. Next week, we're concerned about next week. Coach D, as soon as we got in there, said we got Illinois next week. You know they're going to be a tough team. They're a great team. They, you know, they're they're a team that plays you hard. And you know, so uh, we're looking to go one and zero. Joel, we appreciate it. Congratulations. Yeah. Go celebrate yeah. with the rest of your I team. Will. I will. All right, the senior center, Joel Foreman, having fun. He says the state is now a little greener. Tom, we'll send it back to you. Thanks very much, Vicky. He also said we're going to go beat Illinois. It seems like Coach D'Antonio has those guys in the right frame of mind week by week. The Spartans, 34-17 winners over the Wolverines. Action News at 7 continues right after this.